We love hip hop. Hey. Let's get into this, man. We back at it. This is your boy Friday, Ricky Dredd, here with another interview for your head top. Before I get into this, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsors. Salute to the sponsors, Diamond Club. They got deliveries all over the GTA and across Canada. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada. They got that edibles. They got the flower. I got these pens here. I'm about to puff on a Wonka pen. Everything you need. All right. Hit them up. Um, you can find them on the Seven Days of Weed uh, website or the Leafy Things website, Diamond Club underscore Canada. Um, one more thing. Also, big up to um, ah, Steaming Hot Grabber. All right. They got all different types of grabber. They got peanut butter grabber, red roll, the red herring. Good you know, stuff. Good stuff. Hot. You know what I'm saying? Good stuff. Um, hit them up. On the same thing as it's spelled, steaming, no G on the end, hot grabber. Or you can hit them up on our Instagram, steaming hot grabber. Same. But I'm, I'm really happy to get this interview popping here. This gentleman, is uh, he's made a trip not, not too far, but he had to cross a border. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, that can be a little bit dicey, but we had this conversation behind the scenes. But this gentleman here, he's, he's been doing this thing in the rap game. He's relatively new to the rap game, but he's been doing this thing, you know, he's been yeah. working for a while, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, you know, he, he's um, part of a, a, a legacy, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, with the family out there, you know what I'm saying? Big fans. And, and um, we're definitely going to get into some of that legacy and, and his family members. But with no further ado, we have Goose, by the way, in the mother. Building. Yo, yo, yo. The hell of the most. I spit your ghost over my bulletproof wallet. Beg the differ. They was begging me to stop it. Yo, yo, yo. What it is. What it is, folk. How you feeling, man? How you feeling? It's a good, pleasure man. to have. It's a pleasure to be here. Excuse me. Yo, so tell me, now that you're here in Toronto, right? How long you been here for so far? Uh, sheesh. About a 48. Okay, okay, okay. A straight 48. How have you uh, have you been enjoying the vibes so far since you've been here? Man, it's wonderful, man. I, I can't lie. Like ever since I touched down, it's been good energy, good vibes, good. You know, <clears throat> I love it. Well, one more thing, even on on Toronto, like for somebody coming out of Buffalo, I know Buffalo is a it's a city, but not like a a big big metropolitan city like that, right? Mm -hmm. What's the vibe when you get here to Toronto and you see just that? The bigness of it, pause. Toronto gives me that that New York vibe, mm. but more subtle. You if you if you get what I'm saying, the Queen of New York, yeah. basically, yeah, 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 <laughs> basically. yeah, yeah. But like I said, it's it's, it's definitely it's wonderful here. Yeah. yeah, man. And I've been going through your Instagram. I've seen you're on tour um, with your brother Conway the Machine. Right. You know what I'm saying? And big salute to Conway the Machine. <laughs> Big shots. Um, how's that been? How's the tour? How's the tour life been? You know what I'm saying? Man, it's wonderful. It's actually just dope. It's dope. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even, you know, just to be in so many different cities. I've seen so many different cities in the past three years. <clears throat> it's it's crazy. Man. I never thought of seeing uh Alaska. You feel me? Snap. You went to Alaska? Alaska, crazy. Okay. Remind me of Buffalo, the crazy part about it. Well, <clears throat> No, nah, Alaska really, really, you know, off the grid type situation. There ain't too many people that go out there. Mm. So, no, nah, Alaska dope. Give me a crazy tour story. Mm. I know y'all, listen, I could just see the wildness coming off your bro. So I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. I'm, so I know the story used to be crazy on tour. Uh... I ain't really had to, uh, you know. I, that was my first tour, so I didn't really see too much, to be honest. Mm. But, so you say you go right back to the hotel room? Yeah, that was my, you know, I was with Brody, so, you know, make sure he good. And I, at the end of the day, I'm 35. I ain't about to be playing on him. Mm. I, I want to go home. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah. I, Nah, yeah. One piece for no One reasons. piece, man. <laughs> One piece. I'm trying to go home, baby. I got kids, baby. Oh, man. So, 
you got a new song also out right now called Shopaholic that we were just playing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. My chick is shopaholic. A shop, a shopaholic. Yeah. My chick is shopaholic. How much no cash is your wallet? No... Um, how's that been going off on the stages and stuff? Have you been performing that um during the shows too? Actually, what's so crazy is I just dropped that here. Mm. Like I just start, I just put that on the internet. Like that song, nobody even really heard that song. Okay, okay. Besides, you know, people in my circle, but I just I figured I'd drop it here in Toronto. Mm-hmm. So. So what's your what's your go to when you're when you're doing? Because like I know during the set, like Conway, like okay, you you know you start doing your own set, yeah, right. So what's your go tos in the set? Uh, like what are three songs that people will be like, yo, these are goose by the way songs. That I, need to hear. I don't feel nothing. Mm-hmm. Chip off the old block, and um, I want to say right now. It was uh it was one song I had called uh Lit. Okay. That that, you know, solidified my spot on the whole tour. Mm. I had to rehearse like I had to go to rehearsal and rehearse them songs in front of him and, okay. and, and mad people. Just to, you know, to get yay or nay and shit. Got yay. <clears throat> mm. Like a pair of Yeezys. <laughs> Got yay like a pair of Yeezys. <clears throat> So, okay, let's go back a bit then, right? Um, You grew up in Buffalo, mm-hmm. right? right? Fact, east side of Buffalo. What was, like, the, the, the family dynamic, like, besides, like, obviously your, your bro in there, like, how many brothers you guys, brothers and sisters? Like, was it a full household? Technically, like, like, on my mom's side, it's just me and my my sister. Okay. You know, my my two brothers and sister, which is really my aunt and uncle mm-hmm. from her mom. But on my father's side, he got like 13 kids. So Whoa. I'm I'm the oldest though. So <clears throat> Okay. So it's a lot of us. Yeah. Yeah. Tech- yeah, it's a lot of us. And and did you guys have like a close family relationship with like all those siblings or it was like was it spread apart? It was spread apart for the most part, but we was a close knit family, so it really didn't affect nothing. Yeah. As far yeah, as yeah. relationships, like everybody's still cool. Everybody still, you know, deal with each other in their own ways or how they do it. But yeah, you know, everybody's still love. Yeah. And and I know Buffalo can be a crazy place, right? No, that's a fact. Yeah, Big fact. You know, while this rapping, like you're rapping now, but pre rapping, what was life like for you? Trapping. <laughs> trapping, doing CNA. Mm. You know, I was a CNA prior to me even trapping. Okay, hold so, on, hold on, hold on. CNA, I don't know what a CNA is. That's actually a, uh, 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 that's a nurse. It's a clinical nurse. Oh, okay, okay. Nurse is aid. That's dope. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I was, I was actually like, because I was in Job Corps. Y'all mm-hmm. know what Job Corps? Yeah, I, I've heard of this. <clears throat> we don't have it here, but like, if you have a, uh, an equivalent to job. Yeah, yeah. So I was in job corps for like a good year almost. You know, I had went for one trade, but I wasn't messing with it for that. It was electric. Mm-hmm. But I was like, yeah, that shit was taking too long. I was trying to get out of there. So I just said, let me do the CNA shit. End up doing it, passing it. Yeah. Graduating job corps. Started doing CNA for about five years. Got tired of having to listen to the, you know, to the man. I said, damn this. And even though still I was doing all that, I would always still be writing to myself. Like I said, like writing was my therapy. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. when I'd be chilling or mad about the show, even just like I said, just be on my relaxed type shit. You know, I'd still just write. But after the CNA shit started trapping, you know, Got arrested and all that shit. Ended up losing my license. So I was like, I'm a full time trap now. Let's go. <clears throat> Damn. So while this is happening, you're rapping. Your bro and your, and Benny and, and, uh, and them are your cousins too, right? Yeah, or is it, it different? Because I know it's different dads and all. It gets kind of Yeah, funny. that's just, you know, it's, it's oh. different brackets. Like, 
<laughs> we all we are a, a, a spread it out family tree. <laughs> we all related in some way, though. I'm just picturing like a, a sports bracket <laughs> with your yeah. family tree. It's the tree is the tree is crazy. I'm telling you, the tree of life. Right. But That's all of them are rapping, right? Were they all rapping at this point when you're out there living life and, and like kind of dabbling in the rap? Right, right. Like, are they getting further in the rap game while this is happening, while your life is happening? Big salute to the sponsors, Diamond Club, with delivery all over the GTA and now all across Canada. They got the best selection of flour, edibles, and pens, and all types of goodies that you need. You can find them on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada, or you can find them on the 7 Days of Weed app as well as the Leafy Things app. Let them know that you heard about them through the We Love Hip Hop Network, and they may give you a discount. Big salute to Diamond Club. Cheer! What's so crazy, definitely, like, they always was progression, you know, throughout the years, even before, like I said before, even even thinking about rapping or even taking shit serious. They were on it. They was, they been doing this shit. Yeah. And Ben took over the city with it. They just, the world just didn't notice it. You mm-hmm. feel me? So mm-hmm. once the world got a whiff for it and started noticing, like, man, these motherfuckers really start seeing them YouTube numbers go up. Yeah. Oh, no. <clears throat> shit started to get lit then. <clears throat> But then, you know, I started being with Conway throughout his journey of him getting signed and seeing, you know, highs and lows of what he's been through with the shit. Yeah. <clears throat> and, you know, it it kind of opened my eyes to, like, a whole nother life. Like, because I knew I could do it. I felt I could. Mm-hmm. I just didn't believe I could. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So, once I started taking my shit serious. It was over for me, honestly. <laughs> they must have been very inspirational though, just seeing them progress. You're like, okay, this can this can happen. Like that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Especially when the when the shady deal came around, y'all probably were ecstatic. It's like for how real? did that see Eminem post? Like, yeah, that was crazy. Like, not just for you and your family, but, like, for Buffalo as a whole. For, yeah, that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because Buffalo is a scene that's been there. That that shook the internet, bro, when we when that shit, you know, finally hit the net and most of the town seen that. Oh, yeah, mm. it, was, it was great. On a um, sidetrack, no sidetrack. Besides you in Buffalo and, and the rest of you and, and, you know, your your fam that's, that's doing their thing and your, your crew, right? Mm-hmm. Did you start seeing more rappers start popping up in Buffalo? Like more people decided, hey, I'm a rapper now. Once you started seeing the, the, the success of Griselda? Uh, yeah, I seen a progression more. Like I seen more, I seen people started putting themselves in the light more, trying mm-hmm. to take it to where niggas took it. Now. Yeah. Because prior to that, Nobody wasn't doing nothing with music in the town for real. Like that shit was a dead scene. Yeah. So it was it was dope to see that. It was dope to see, you know, artists actually shit stepping up to the plate, really trying to, you know, show they they talent. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I look at it. I looked at it like shit. <clears throat> Why not pick my pen up? Yeah. Let me pick my pen up. Let me see what I could do. Being that shit, I'm in the circle anyway. I got to do something. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you feel me? So it was like, shit, let's go. And as I started rapping, it just took over me. <clears throat> and like the love for it became a, a, a fell in love with it. Mm. I was in love with it, but I fell in love with it. No, for real. No, that, that, that's dope, man. And even like, you mentioned your age, right? Mm-hmm. I feel that those guys, right, the Griselda family, also encouraged something where they they pushed the age limit on rap. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, for real. Where it was like people used to be like, "Oh, rap is a young man's sport. If you're not 20 and you're and trying to get into it, then just get you know give it up." You know what I'm saying? No, they made it to where age ain't nothing but a number, man. Yeah, age ain't nothing but a number. Even though it been that. You know, probably because you got to look at guys like Hov, mm-hmm. the, the elders that's doing Nas, they they still doing this shit, yeah, killing yeah. shit. Like so, you can't you can't depict that off of age. Yeah. <laughs> Lyricism ain't depicted off of age. Mm. So that's a fact. Speaking on lyricism, 
right? Because you're a lyrical rapper. You 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 put the pen down and you 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 got bars, right? Appreciate that too. Have you ever though felt like deviating and just doing some? I don't know what you what would I call it? The wavy, just you know what I'm saying? Very dumbed down bars. You know, wet up my voice with hella auto tune. Let me just do that and let me see if I could just get one quick. I actually got shit like that. Mm. <laughs> I do. Uh, I, I like. I'm very. I'm very versatile. I like to play with shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like to hear weird beats, weird sounds in the back of the, the drums on the bass and shit. Like I'm taking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, I, I don't, I don't mind it. Okay. But I love it. Okay, okay. What's one of the biggest struggles coming out of Buffalo when it comes to making music? Like still. Uh, that's a good question too. Um, I want to say we still have that 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 stigma of we from Buffalo. You mm. feel me? So it's 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 ten times it's ten times harder on us than your average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Than say you was from New York or anywhere else in the city or any other city, you feel me? Like it's it's still that uh, they they still think about it like yeah, just because you know it, the town ain't really the town don't really support each other for real. To me mm. personally, like I love the town, I love the town of death, but we still don't <clears throat> show that real support with each other, like. I, I feel like it's a popularity contest in the city. Like, right. Everybody just run to who, who they think lit. And, it, and they don't really even do background on people. Like, mm. oh, because you see me in the club every day. They lit, they lit type shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't, you know, that's why I, that was never my type crowd. So I just do, I, I do this music for me and my personal shit I went through and, and go through. And they, and I'm sure I, I reach out to other people that go through shit too, because mm-hmm. I know people tell me. But <clears throat> I definitely, I, you know, it's therapy. Yeah, yeah. No, fam, it's important, man. And and even with with you and your your family, all have gone through some struggles and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> when Conway went through his incident, you know what I'm saying? Like with the first time with the shooting and all that. Where were you in life? Uh, I was actually in Job Corps. You're in Job Corps at them times. I was on a weekend pass actually when he got shot that week. Mm. It was like, like on a Friday, I want to say or some shit. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, it was on a Friday. <clears throat> he came, got some clothes, left back out the door. A couple hours later, we get the call. He shot. So that shit took me. I was, I was pissed. Big state, but you know, it's for that. Yeah. You know? No, nah, fam, it's, it's, it's stuff like that can really wear on us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what happened with Conway and just like, you know, God forbid with the rappers who've passed. Um, there's, there's so many different things, like trauma that we go through. Mm-hmm. It's like the music, do you use music as a therapeutic way? And like, or what are, what are other ways that you use to like, Besides music, to like um, deal with some of the stuff, the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Change of sceneries, you know, change of scenery. Of course, my kids, talking mm-hmm. to my kids. Uh, I might, do, you know, walk around sometimes just to clear my head. But all in all, I love music, though, too. So I, I definitely vibe out to music. Yeah, Smoke yeah. me a couple bucks, too. Nah, for real. You know one thing, just to broaden the conversation a bit, um, I've been always a big advocate of, of people getting therapy and different things like that. And I've been always saying that they should be including therapy in, in part of like our Medicare. You know what I'm saying? We should be able to get like one therapy session a month. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Are you, do you think that that can help cats in the hood? Like getting a therapist and different things. Have you ever tried to talk to a therapist yourself? Um, personally, I haven't. I haven't. But I'm not going to, you know, Put it by me and say I won't. Mm. At times, because you know, I, I should. I feel the same way. Like 
you have to open up to somebody eventually. Yeah. But luckily, I have my parents in my life to where, you know, if I do feel like I want to actually express or I'm going through something real bad to where I got to talk to somebody, mm-hmm. like it's, it's people around for me for that. So I'm thankful for that part. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got all my parents still, you know, even with my cousin, my older cousin, even Conway, like he's somebody I really talk to at times <laughs> if I'm really in need of it. Yeah, yeah. But no, I got a, I got a lot of people in my corner, man. And I, sh- I can't let them down. No, that's important, man. I feel, um, and maybe this is something I'm just going to put into the air. I feel like I've heard somebody else put this in the air before, maybe Joe Butner or somebody, yeah. that when, when y'all get signed to deals, that should be part of the deal too. You know therapist. what I'm saying? Yeah, a therapist it's a fact. Or a, a therapist of your choosing, but the record company covers it where you can get to do one therapy or two therapy sessions a month type of thing or, or once a week. You know what That's I'm saying? That's a fact. Because while you guys are coming up in the game, there's so many different things that are in your face. There's so many different things to process that even besides trauma, you should be able to, you know, talk to somebody about the different depress, levels. Yeah, of, depress some of that, that energy. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Hmm. Because it's, it's very important, man, because I feel like you'll lose it. You, you go, you know, we all on edge anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We let everybody live on edge. Can't be waiting for somebody to do something to him. <laughs> Can't wait for somebody to look at him wrong or yeah. say something wrong to him. Just take something wrong. Like it's it's like it's no ending with the, that negativity, bro. Mm-hmm. And it's it's everywhere. But you know that's why you got to stay with good frequencies, man. Keep your energy good, man. Speak in the morning. How you doing? Good morning. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Nah, fam. Like. We're in the school phase capital where, like, somebody sends a good morning to you. You're looking at the phone like... Yeah, they look at you crazy. You can't even say, the hell I look like telling a nigga good morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> no, you, no, it's fine, man. Uh, man Skylet, the, the game up with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, big yeah. shout out to Skylet. No, nah, man. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm digging the, the, the way that your mind is working, bro. I, I, I quit it, bro. And even with the music, right? Like not just the music yeah the career period right Mm -hmm. what do you see as like goose by the way on like the when you reach because you never end right you're always going to be looking for more gold but when you reach that plateau that you really want to be at like the, the top of the mountain for you you know what i'm saying what does that look like is it only music involved um or is there other things that you did to get you to that place no, nah, I ain't gonna say only music is gonna be involved. Like I'm reaching beyond my, you know, my mind mm-hmm. from how I used to think. Like I got, I can't, I gotta get out of the the fact of <clears throat> what I used to be. Yeah. You feel me? And start focusing on the new me. <clears throat> I can't worry about that old shit no more. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I want to do everything I can do. I don't give a fuck what it is. I want a motherfucking bungee jump off one of these buildings. I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? That's because I want to do it. I don't care what it is. I don't, acting. Man, put, give me a basketball. Let me let me get on the court, man. Let me shoot me a couple. Let me see what I could do. Yeah. But no, nah, just. just. You want a fucking team on the way up, bro. No, nah, that's a fact. <clears throat> it's just that want to want. I don't want to not have. I don't want to feel like I don't want to want. Mm. You feel me? I want to keep wanting. I want better for myself and for my family and for anybody who that's around me. But I I want. That's it. I'm going to just want. Yeah. Ain't no end. I'm going to have to make the title of this episode. I want to want. <laughs> I want. No, nah, I want. That's what I want. Yeah. For real. I just want. I don't care what it is. I want it. Give me it. Oh, man. Who's by the way? We deserve it. I deserve it. I want it. Feel me? I, I said the name again, but it, now it's just a generic question. How the fuck you get the name Goose, by the way? Conway with the machine, man. His crazy ass psycho mind. He was calling me that as a kid. Okay. You know, as me growing up. Is Goose or Goose, by the way? It was actually like, I got the by the way by, you know, the first tour. Okay. Because that's when real 
because we're like, oh no, he really do this. Shit. Mm. Man, he not. That's that's by the way. <clears throat> that's how I got by the way. Mm. But Goose came from like you know, I had numerous of names with Goose, so it was like Marcus Goose, Great Goose, Go- uh, Goosten, uh, Gooey Godfrey. Oh. You feel me? <laughs> we got you. So, but as I got older, like the gray goose, like the goose, actually, goose just was the name first. Like, mm-hmm. It was just goose, goose. My father started calling me goose. And then, you know, the rap came around and the, go- the by the way came on. Mm. Okay. Understood. Understood. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So here we are now, 2023. You got the song Shopaholic out, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, you're touring. Um, you're touring with Conway the Machine. Mm-hmm. Right? And we got that drum work album about too. Okay. That so, drum work album uh, featuring, you know, Jay Skis, mm-hmm. Love the Genius, uh, SK, Lucky. Yeah. Really. And drum works is the label. Yes. Right? So tell me all of the members of drum work beside yourself and Conway. Uh, like I said, it was it's Love the Genius, mm-hmm. J Skis, uh, SK, okay, my boy Shots, and a few others. See, there's a woman in the crew too, no? Yeah, that's Love the Genius. Okay, Love the Genius. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm love getting the familiar. Genius. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Now we got a number one album. That was the number one album in the state. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know. And bro dropped that Won't He Do It, which was the number one uh, joint for him. I got that joint on there with Water the Wine, uh, Twin Cross Twin. I got some shit out. We got shit out, man. Yeah, yeah. I was playing Twin um, Cross Twin earlier, that track. Yeah. No, we got some shit out. And, and as far as with you and a, a full album from Goose, by the way, can we get something like that soon? Very, very soon. Is it in the works or do you I already man. have like Shit loads of songs recorded. Man, I got shit loads of shit ready to shoot at the world. Mm. But it's got to be properly done. And very soon, man. I'm working on it. Gotcha. Okay, okay, I'm about, about to hear a way lot more, Goose. Trust me. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, man. Goose, by the way, in the building, man. Listen, bro, I enjoyed having this conversation with you. I feel like you know, our audience up here got to know a little bit more about you. There's not a lot of interviews out there. Is this your first interview, Frank? No. Uh, here, yeah. No, this is my second here. I did a, you know, podcast the other day. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can say that. You can say that. Hey, it's all new to me, baby. Yeah. We're getting there early, fam. Yeah, so... it's all new to me, baby. So, so listen, listen. We, we got it here on camera. We got, we got another camera That got fat boy in his motherfucker. Man, when Goose, by the way, gets the platinum album, we gonna hold him to coming back and doing another interview. Okay, don't don't get Hollywood on a nigga, bro. Nah, man, I ain't gonna do that, bro. You I know what I'm saying? Man, I ain't Hollywood. I just want to go to Hollywood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I don't yeah. want to be it. I just want to go there. No, nah, fam, I'm, I'm I'm honored to to get in on the on the on the wave early. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. You know I got you, bro. So so what you got coming up next? Um, as far as singles. We, we, you say you got an album in the works. Yeah. Uh, I'm working on a By The Way tape. Uh, my album is probably going to be called, I'm not sure, mm-hmm. but it's, it's, in the, it's in the air. It's called, um, I Don't Want to Shoot, I Want to Dance. Mm. So it's going to be a lot of R&B type, groovy, slow, or a little fast pace, a little dance type shit. Nice. Like, you know? Trying to just, like I said, reach beyond my palate, which is rap. Like, I don't want to do just rap. I want to go with the R&B. I want to do mother pop. I want to do everything. Who, who am I to, to say I want to not do something? Yeah. You feel me? So, <clears throat> let's go. Got to want to want, man. Got to want to want. <laughs> yeah, man. For real. Yeah, man. Goose, by the way, in the building. You know what I'm saying? Big salute to this gentleman. Where can they find you on Instagram and like all like where do you can get your music everywhere like that? Um, sh- Everything. Every every social site. Goose, by the way. Goose, by the way. YouTube. Goose, by the way. Instagram. Goose, by the way. You know? Same sh- Facebook. All that. TikTok. Find me all on all them sites. 
Holla at me, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And also, let me give a quick salute to my sponsors before we get out of here also. Big salute to the sponsors. Diamond Club. They got deliveries across Canada, all over the GTA as well. Find them on their Instagram page, Diamond yes, Club sir. underscore Canada. And big salute to Steaming Hot Grabber. All right. So you can Big find up. them also on their the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hot, hot grabber. Find them on their Instagram page, steaming hot grabber. With no G on the end of steaming. All right. And uh, yeah, man. Um, I think I'm gonna take us out here with Tween Cross Team. Let's go. Let's get it, man. We love hip hop. Hip-hop, hip-hop, hip-hop.